morning everybody and welcome to Visit File Coast. We're in the sunny metropolis of Cleveland at the moment. We're off to the seaside this morning so you may as well come with me. It is quarter to ten on Thursday the 31st of March as I'm, as I'm filming this. This is our first stab at a drive time, at a proper drive time video. I've had a twiddle with the GoPro and the sun's shining and we're off, we're off to see, well we're off in a motor car. Um, so I thought we would have another try, this is drive time debut V2. So don't forget folks, make sure if you're new here that you've subscribed to the Visit File Coast YouTube channel, make sure that you've hit that little bell for notifications. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Lots and lots and lots of different content. Um, as you probably gathered, I've been suffering. I've had a really nasty, well, I don't know what I've had. Infection, virus, cold, lurgy, call it what you will. Um, which is why I still sound stuffed up. So if I start coughing, if I start coughing, I'm sorry, there'll be an intermission in this in this video so these are the famous these are the famous new humps at anchor zone and i did a video about these just before i went down with the bug um, because as you can see people you need to walk over the top of them might seem a bit extreme but they've been installed for a very good reason because this little bit of road has become what you can only call a racetrack as usual, the minority of people spoil it for the vast majority of us that know how to control ourselves. Um, so they've, they, there's, there's no choice but to install speed bumps. So there it is. There's, there's, there's the story. So just be careful because they're nice and, nice and sharp. In fact, that one scratched to death with tailpipes and exhausts <laughs> off the bottom of now, as you can see just in front of you here, you always get a lovely view of the beach and the seafront up at North Blackpool when you come down to this last little bit. So as we get up to this corner here where the, the wall finishes, just pay a particular note as you look over the edge. That's a brilliant spot for wave watching on a really rough day because it's dead safe. You're not going to get anywhere near the, the waves and the water. But it's a really good spot to stand with a, a camera and get some really good pictures of the waves. So this is Little Bispen, um, sort of just out of Anchor Zone, and it's the, as you can see by the bubble, 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 it's the tram line crossing. Um, so we're now we're now parallel to the to the tramway as we head towards. So it's the first time I've been out for oh, two or three weeks um, because, like I said, we've all had this, we've all had this lurk in. I, I believe it's doing the rounds. Um, so it's left me, it's left me with the after effects and, and what you might call a little bit congested. Um, and it's at least my voice has come back and I can at least speak now, which is perhaps not a good thing if you call Kevin. No Brett Castle on your left. Um, well, yeah, no Brett Castle on your left. <laughs> scaffolding comes, scaffolding goes. Reviews don't seem to get much better. Some people like it, most people don't. But that's, you know, it is what it is. And the next landmark that we're coming up to is Red Bank Road. Now on the Visit File Coast YouTube channel, there are loads, hundreds of videos about all kinds of different interesting things. Um, one of which is Pennystone Rock. Now, just to your right, over the edge of this cliff here, at very, very low tide, there is there is the remnant of a of a big rock, which probably was the line of the cliffs back in the day before they all eroded. Um, Quite an interesting, quite an interesting thing with quite a lot of folklore to it. So you can, if you just go onto our channel, there's a search box at the top of our channel. 
channel, not the main YouTube one, and just type in Penny Stone Rock. The end of Red Bank Road. So this is where the illuminations start or stop depending on your point of view. So we've got this lovely arch over the top of the road. I've noticed that the LEDs are all working this morning. I know one or two have been out over winter. Bispam tram stop. Nicely, nicely positioned so you can get a cup of tea. If there's a public toilet there, you can go for a wee. You can catch the tram. You can Go, for the, go to the shops, there's a Sainsbury's down Red Bank Road on your left if you want it. If you're doing a self catering staycation and you're wanting some, you're wanting some um, shopping on your left, if you can see it, that used to be the old miners' home which the um, coal board used for holidays for miners and convalescents and recuperation and whatnot. So this is kind of the quiet end of Blackpool, where the hotels and holiday accommodation peter out and, and well, thin out into residential properties. And then there's the casino here on your, your left, Genting Casino. So when you get to the casino, you start to pick up hotels and holiday accommodation again. Just a question while we're driving people, would you rather would you rather talk to me as I'm driving and have a running commentary and pointing things out and observing and looking and whatnot? Or would you rather do it in, in glorious peace and quiet? Because I'm easy either way. I don't want to get on your nerves. So if you could pop a comment underneath and let me know which format you prefer. Let me know which format you'll prefer to have your drive time videos with. So it's all coming back to life. <laughs> because of course it's Easter very soon. Um, so so the, the hotels and accommodation and guest houses and everything will be sprinting back into life. That's the Hackett's Hotel. I've no idea what they're doing with that. That's the one that was on fire probably 18 months ago. It's just about burnt out it upstairs. Looks a bit of a blot on the landscape. It's been boarded off, but obviously the boards the boards have come down, blown down, been taken down, whatever. And this is Gin Square. Which is a bit of an anomaly because it's not really square, it's round. And this is where the Spitfire was stabled last year for the illuminations. I don't think you'll be able to see it on the, the camera, but on your left here, where this scaffolding is. Oh, sorry, they've taken it down. It's this one here as we're just passing. They've been converting that for forever and a day, and my curiosity has been killing me. I think they must be making it into residential residential houses, apartments, maybe it's holiday flats. Oh, update on the ambassador as well. Apparently, the guy who owns the the plot, the burnt, the burnt out building that became a building plot, he is hoping to build high quality holiday apartments. So that'll be nice. Because it's a lovely spot to stop down at this end of Blackpool. Lovely spot to stop. And of course it all looks gloomy in the morning because the, the sunrise is in the east and this is the west. And then as the day as the day wears on and the sun comes round, you get all the lovely view. Tuesday, Wednesday, 
Tuesday, Wednesday went grey and wet and rainy. We've had quite a few heavy showers actually. Um, but I think we've had to stop for a day or two. Got to ca catch it while you can with me today. So today I'm going to take you to the Hounds Hill car park. And we're going to the Hounds Hill car park because I don't know how long I'm going to be in Blackpool. I'm going to an event. And then when I've done that, I'm going to go and uh, do some jobs. I'm going to have my lunch in Blackpool. I haven't made my mind up what or where yet. But I'm going to have something to eat in Blackpool. And then I'm going to drive back home. So if you're lucky, people, we might have a drive time in reverse. We'll stop for that red light, shall we? Did you feel me either and either then when uh, they were at green? I thought, am I going to get through? No, better wait. Yeah, so I've no idea how long I'm going to be. So I'm going to park at the Hound Hill because that's pay on exit. And obviously I can um, dawdle saunter do whatever it is that i need to do and then and then make my way home without needing to think about parking tickets and whether or not i've outstayed my welcome it's all looking bright and sunny in blackpool i bet you can't see the top of the tower on that camera can you might might get might get some of it most of it a lot of it but not all of it i think this is what Blackpool's like early in the morning. Quiet, clean, tidy, not a thing out of place, people waiting to go dancing in the tower. Workmen working, people cleaning windows, deliveries. They're early, but they're catching the tram. Right, we're gonna go left here. Coral Island and around the corner like a teddy bear a big parrot now Bonnie Street Market is supposed to be reopening but I don't know when I'm waiting for waiting for the nod that's a crane that's a crane on the site of the car park works on the Blackpool Central plot the Sands Hotel. Now then, would I pass my driving test? I mean, very, very mindful to uh, to be very careful and keep, oh, job centre. Now, I knew that was opening. I knew somebody had said that that was going to open in the old Argos building, which is, let's face it, is, is a big, is a big improvement. Oh, it looks like we've got the diversion on. Of course, they're building the extension to the Hounds Hill. So, to be honest, I did kind of guess that we would end up with the we would end up with the diversion all the way up and round. Um, well, I mean, frankly, building a building a building in the middle of Blackpool Town Centre, you've got to take your hat off to it for patience. So, this is Albert Road. And there's a video actually about Albert Road and the hotels uh, on foot walking video. And this is where I always get mixed up this because you turn left and I always get, oh here we go, follow, follow flogger as they say, follow flogger. I always want to go down these two, which of course are no entry. So we need to go all this way. This is South King Street, wobble, wobble, wobble. The potholes, and that straight in front of you is the site that this ABC used to be on the syndicate. There's cranes in every direction in Blackpool, and then I'm going to go this way. So this is this is another one of my favourite um, car parks. This one. Um, oh, Adelaide Street. That looks like they've closed Adelaide Street Car Park. Oh, that's shocking. It's really empty, that one. They must be sat in doing something there as well. Right, anyway. So, we're going 
to go into the oh it's like they're all uh, swapping chairs to go into the house hill so this is the way around that you need to come um, if you come into the to the house hill car park and this is the new extension for um, Wilkinson's and the, the cinema and the entrance to the car park is here I bet you can see the tower there can't see the tower now and it's goodness help us. A few more speed bumps just for good measure and there we are we have arrived at our destination so I hope you've enjoyed drive time debut number two. I don't think you need to see me parking the car do you? Um, we will get our pay on exit car parking doda from the doda dispenser. And we will go and see what today brings us in the sunny metropolis of Blackpool. So, um, come back, come back for the return journey home. And we'll see you later. Bye for now, folks. Total pit.